Hello, welcome to my channel. Caterpillar Junhak at your service. We are here now in uh, our uh, repairing area. Uh, there is trouble. I, I don't know if uh, related to anyone or electrician. Now, I keep him this uh, responsibility right now. Is our uh, junior uh, electrician. Okay, Indian man. Bundu. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, dynamo if anyone related with this if uh, anyone we don't know, know about this dynamo this is a caterpillar dynamo okay now when I testing it it's something wrong on the regulator or rectifier so we will open it complete and then we will show you I'll we'll show you all about this type of thing now. Okay, okay uh, this is the continuation of the repairing of this starter. Ah, Dynamo, sorry. This is a doser Dynamo of Caterpillar. Okay, so as we can see right now, this is the positive uh, sink. Okay is a passive sink so must be this sink will not connect that to the body okay you see and then how I testing it this is the negative side of the battery see? that's the battery and we use bulb tester okay this is the bulb tester so you can see it touch to the body it's showing light so must be this sink will not connect it to the body okay I touch the body again see it is showing light but this is the positive sink okay positive sink is the positive sink body okay usually the body it is same uh, same like a uh, short end to the ground okay rectifier This is the positive uh, side of the rectifier. So you can testing it through bulb directly. This is the main coil, stator coil. Okay. Okay. As we can see, no ground or not shorted to the body. And if you can see this regulator okay okay I touch to the ball so there's no shirt or a ground that the body right now okay just a few seconds I'm going to complete all the installation of this diet This BG is just only for a uh, uh, technical uh, showing to anyone that uh, sometimes they don't understand how to assemble okay. the positive and negative diode will be connected about AC, AC input together as you can see uh, it is together negative is body connected okay and then positive it is the sink for the positive you see all now is completed and then we will wait for the other extra rectifier this rectifier will be connected at the same position at this type of position we bought this uh, dynamo or alternator in a duplicate it is not original by caterpillar but the same as a caterpillar dynamo okay so we will show you after this once all the diode is already connected I'm sorry sorry this also connected to the 
to the rectifier or the boat positive and negative connected will also be connected that here see and uh, other side and the other end yellow wire or if you can do publication inside of this uh, insulated uh, like a square uh, it is all diode three diode and one capacitor inside so where is the capacitor the capacitor is this wire this wire this wire is connected to the capacitor and the both end blue color these are going here on the regulator and the other one is going to the light indicator light indicator so that is it for now and then we will uh, show you on the testing time Okay, if you can see as I told this is a capacitor line so this must be connected to the positive line so this sink it is a positive as I told before this sink is a positive so must be this wire connected to the positive on the sink make it sure that this is not touching to the body okay make it sure not not touching to the body or else your work will not become successful or it is as what happened before one of my electrician they assembled this dynamo so I made a mistake this wire is touching to the ground to the bolt and this screw touching on this screw that was here oh sorry so this screw is connected to the body and there inside so that's why they have a fiber spacer or a, like a washer to keep this screw is just only connected to the body not touching to the, any parts of the positives positive line okay i'm going to connect this red wire or as a capacitor line how I know that this is a capacitor all the damage uh, these things or uh, parts I was open inside and then check the, uh, the line what we have and then we found out that this line is a uh, capacitor and blue it is a uh, same as a uh, you know energizer this diode is the purpose is to energize the whole system sorry now i forget to mention this to energize the whole system to make the charging system will work okay the purpose is this diode without this diode this dynamo will not work okay will not work as you can see they connected all the both end of the rectifier yellow all the yellow wire one is there, one is here, and one also here. Okay, so this one is connected to the indicator or a light indicator. So now I already connected the wire. So you can see, see, this is the uh, the, uh, the the lug I was showing it is a red wire already connected to the body so what I did uh, what I need uh, to do now just to check again just to check again the positive sink if it is touching to the body or touching to the ground but luckily it is all not getting touched to the negative so you can see the bulb tester so meaning it's ready to install everything so to anyone i need to take uh, do the advice or i need to advise everyone 
by doing assembling of the dial you have to make it sure that the negative not touching to the body oh sorry negative or positive okay see it's free now no short so again wait a few minutes I will uh, make it complete Yeah, now this is the final testing. As you can see this is the AC input. AC input, oh my ground is not connected. AC input, okay. AC input, okay. Again, check. Okay, that's the ground. The light is lighting. Positive sink, okay. The positive sink. It is already not connected to the body. Okay. Meaning my work is successful. So this is the AC input. Okay. AC input. This is the AC input. AC input. That's the final. Everything is in correct connection. Yes, I'm here now going to testing. Okay, so as we can see, this is where I told before is a indicator. Okay, it is light showing, light showing, and also the AC output, AC output of the dynamo. It's also light showing. Okay, that's the AC output. AC output so we can use this here if you want to excite or energize the dynamo at this side and also here but this system is automatically energized using by the diode and some uh, small uh, 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 small uh, magnet that we have inside of the chassis so we can see I will keep this tester okay see what happened and one more thing for the information of everyone you should have to connect the end side of the tester on the positive so this is the positive end side and then the uh, other end side of the tester must be connected to the light indicator of the dynamo so you can see See the light will not sharing off because why that light is getting power and here at the AC output. That's the AC output. And once I remove this, so you can see the light is more brighter, meaning that the dynamo is uh, charging. And when we're going to check the AC line, okay, AC line that. AC line where the diode receiving a signal from AC and then they will convert it as DC see meaning the light is balanced as showing on the light uh, in the, the bulb tester the light is balanced so meaning the AC that going in, uh, to in on the diode it is normally converted or uh, normally the same as uh, the boat's uh, three-phase coil okay. mostly if you check this AC output must be the light will become balanced okay see but if I check the indicator the light is a uh, little bit low but in a positive and negative, the light is brighter than the AC input. Ah, output, sorry. So, this is it. I hope that this video will uh, help to the electrician or to any electrician that they don't know how to fix this type of uh, uh, 
Dynamo. This Dynamo can possibly fix any big size type of engine, but usually this Dynamo use in a bulldozer, caterpillar, theater, and uh, other higher uh, model. Okay, so this is my testing uh, area, but uh, no chance to clean the area because uh, I'm always in outfire and uh, some of my companions they are not taking care about this uh, place. Again, check. it's charging and uh, see the indicator light. And again, the AC output. You have to make it sure that the light will be the same brighter than the other terminal of the AC output. Or else, if the light is a little bit dim, uh, dim compared to the other, meaning there is a leak or a damage rectifier. Okay, this is it.